Bruce Baker knows what the wrong path looks like because he walked it for years. He met Justin Ernest at Above and Beyond CrossFit here in Little Rock. Their bond built on similar struggles and the stress relief that weightlifting can provide. Together, they're taking a different approach to helping kids navigate the difficulties of growing up. Week after week, uh, rep after rep. Roll shoulders shoulders back. Back. There you go. Stand tall. Yeah! Very good. Best one yet. Justin Ernest and Bruce Baker are teaching students at the Center of Innovation how to lift a barbell. And by using their strength, comes off the weight of past decisions. The crowd I was with, it was, it wasn't a good crowd, it was a bad crowd. My principal, he always told me the bad decisions that I make and it's not going to get me anywhere. Every Friday for the last six weeks, Makai Scott and a handful of other students have spent two hours talking, listening, and hopefully learning. We've been there as well and just trying to tell them that, hey, I've checked those doors, that is not what you want to do. My parents weren't always around and I had a little bit of trouble, you know, back whenever I was a kid. Had it not been for my grandfather talking me into joining the military because it had the structure I needed, um, I could have ended up in jail, easily. Keep that chest up the entire time, and if you have to sit down a little bit to get to the bar, put your shoulders I think when my, my mom gave me away at 10 years old, um, that I think I was always looking for that acceptance, uh, that love uh, of being, uh, not being rejected. But when my grandmother died, that's when I hit that downward spiral. And what happened was, instead of me reaching for help to somebody positive, a, a mentor, I reached the wrong way. Long story short, uh, I became a drug dealer, and before I knew it, I was in a the cartel, I went to federal prison, spent 15 years in prison, and that's when I made a conscious decision that, you know, um, this is not the life I want. Very, very good. Together, by hitting the weights, they are hoping to ease the pain and keep these young kids on the right track. But it's a little bit different whenever you're a young man, you need someone that's maybe been in that situation before. But the strength doesn't come right away. Like trust, it takes time to build. So we didn't come in on an aggressive approach. We came more in that, hey, we just would like to just be friends you guys, shoot some ball, just talk. So it's more of a conversation, a real life story, uh, tell an hour story of where we went wrong. My hope is that down the line, whether it be this week or next year, that the things that they learn in here and the conversations we've had and the directions we give them, maybe they're in a bad situation, but they make the right decision to get themselves out of it. Ernest and Baker plan to continue the program as long as possible, and they're already seeing results. Makai Scott, the student we introduced you to, has completed all of his courses, and with the help of the program, has graduated the Center of Innovation and re-enrolled at Maumelle.